Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I create personal growth and lifestyle content, sharing tips to inspire positive change. And in today's video, I'm excited to take you through a day in my life as a full-time creator. To start the day right, I'll always make my bed first thing in the morning. It's a simple but crucial step in building discipline and setting a productive tone for the day. For breakfast, I'm having avocado and steamed dumplings. Have you ever tried avocado with soy sauce? I know, it might sound a bit weird. I was skeptical at first, but it tastes remarkably like salmon without the fishy taste. Plus, avocado is packed with nutrients, so it's definitely worth a try. Next up, I'm going to do a bit of reading. I'm currently reading Atomic Habits by James Clear and I'm currently in my last few chapters of the book. I really enjoy reading to the point I feel guilty if I skip my reading time. I like to read self-help books that allows me to grow as an individual and it's amazing how much you can learn from a good book. So, I'm currently reading on this book called The Atomic Habits by James Clear and I'm reading chapter 18, The Truth About Talent, When Genes Matter and When They Don't. Um, it's very very insightful, they teach you about how to maximize the odds of your success and figuring out what kind of person you are. And to create habits based on your personality. It talks about how you can actually combine your skills by doing things that you are good at rather than trying to be better. And basically when you combine your skills, you reduce the level of competition. Is it like a, are you good at drawing? Are you good at writing jokes? And you can combine them, you know, by writing, um, by drawing and writing jokes at the same time. This will make you different and therefore you also reduce the level of competition and not only that it also makes you easier to stand out as well so right now i am trying to brainstorm ideas for my next video and maybe i can share with you like my calendar of how i stay organized basically i use motion to organize my videos to when to upload and what video Am I uploading on certain dates? Basically, I have like the time that I want to upload, what kind of topic it is, whether it's published, and then for what platforms. And it's really, really helpful because you can just drag if you want to change a certain day. So how I knew this is 
if I'm not wrong, I watched one of the YouTuber and then she was like recommending some calendars and then she recommended Notion. So that is how I stay organized with my videos, being consistent to upload every week, yeah, at least a video every week. Sometimes I might consider adding two videos but depending on how I can manage because it takes time to edit therefore you know I want to put out content that is really like quality you know over quantity but basically this channel will be more of personal growth and also showing you my but basically this video or this channel will be more of personal vlogs or like personal growth it's been three months since I fully worked on YouTube and I'm enjoying it. Sometimes it can be very tiring, but I enjoy every piece of or every progress that I have made. I mean, hopefully we can be monetized soon. There's a lot of shaping done in the channel, a lot of trial and error, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But staying positive yes, I'm staying positive and then um, I'm going to figure out what kind of videos I'm gonna block or oh, no what kind of content ideas I'm going to film recently I also took a course on content marketing where they teach us how to write headlines and I'm using my notes as an inspiration for my videos. I'm keeping it simple with some convenient food. for editing, which is often the most time-consuming part of my day. I'm currently working on a video from a recent getaway trip and if you're interested, you can catch the video right after this one. I'll link it at the end of the screen. And I really enjoy editing because it lets me relive those fun moments and appreciate the time I spend with my family. I have still a lot more to go but I'm very excited to edit this. And yeah, oh my god, let me show you something funny. I was editing this video and then I found um, this clip. I was thinking if I should remove this or I should add it. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> So I 
just finished editing my video for Explore Singapore vlog which will be out when you watch this video and I'm very excited to upload that reason being because it really helps to clear my mind you know, having to get away from the busy cities and especially spending time with my loved ones anyway I just want to say that I'm very grateful for everything that has happened be it good or bad I feel like I have learned in some ways and if you ever consider having like a getaway trip it's a sign for you to do that then right now I need to create a thumbnail for the Explore Singapore video once I'm done with this then I'll edit this vlog that you're currently watching oh and also just to share with you guys like my upcoming schedule or like goals for this channel I think it's it's a very it's a good time to share now as well for this channel I'm thinking of uploading twice a week and it's been an off and on thing for me reason being because it's very challenging for me to upload two videos a week because the time consuming part is the editing of videos I would rather choose quality over quantity that I presume as good quality in terms of the days I'm not sure when I'll be uploading because I'm still playing around with the different days and time to upload but for sure there will be a video a week for you and I'm trying really hard to improve my skills and then try to add two videos a week if you don't want to miss the video you can actually subscribe if you haven't and then ring the bell so that you won't miss any of my videos and yeah that's it um, I'm gonna do a thumbnail for this video this is one of my favorite tasks to do because it allows me to get creative and design an eye-catching cover for my video I usually create a few drafts and run them through a thumbnail test to see which one is more popular.